Okay, well, welcome back for this, uh, what should be a very short uh, video. Uh, we want to set our baseline. So we're done our project planning. We have a viable schedule. Uh, we have resources allocated to it. We've got rid of all of our o resource over allocation. So we've uh, fiddled with our schedule to make sure everything is viable. And uh, we're ready to lock it in. So this is the milestone, if you will, that, that uh, establishes the end of project planning. And now we're going to go forward from this point forward onto project execution and start monitoring and controlling our project. And so to do that, we need to, to lock in our baseline. And so that's a fairly straightforward task. So if I go to project on the tab, and choose set baseline and set baseline. And so down here, you'll see that you can set a number of different baselines. For the most part, we're setting the primary baseline. We may, based on change orders and that later on, uh, start to fiddle with other baselines. But for the most part, this is our big baseline that we want to calculate all our variance against. And so we set the baseline, it's for the entire project, and we hit OK and you don't see that much has changed. But a lot has changed uh, in the background and it's going to uh, empower us and the program to do a whole lot of really important things as we go forward into the execution. So let's look at a couple of the things that look different now uh, that didn't look that way before. And so up here in the sheet view, if I just choose my cost sheet, you'll notice that all of my costs have been locked in. So these were the total costs that were calculated by the resources that we had assigned to it or the contracts that we had assigned to it. And now we see that instead of zeros or NAs under cost, all of those costs are locked in. And that means that as we track our costs moving forward and we have variance from what we had planned, it's going to calculate the variance uh, right now showing is zero uh, against what we had planned. And so our cost baseline has been established. Go back to entry. And the other view in sheets is under variance. And so we see that instead of NAs or not applicables, we now have baseline start and baseline finish have been established. And so each of our schedule task or our task schedules have been locked in. And so any variation from that, either happening sooner than planned or later, will show a variation from the project schedule. And so that becomes really, really important. And you can see variance in days and everything else. And so the other view that I want to bring up is our tracking Gantt. And it's right down here. And again, I've made some changes based on my format preferences and save those to my template so they come up automatically. But so here we see our tracking Gantt and it looks a lot like our Gantt chart, except of course it's set up to track the variation from our baseline. So the baseline, the schedule baseline is shown as the black bars under each of these tasks. Now we haven't varied from it. We haven't had any delays or anything yet. And so everything is still lining up. But as we start to change the schedule and things happen late or early, we're going to get variation from that baseline. And so this is a particularly useful view in seeing our delays, cause of delays and everything else. So the last thing that I wanted to look at was the uh, establishing those baselines are going to allow us to look at earned value as a means by which we can assess whether our uh, project is ahead of schedule, behind schedule, over budget or under budget. And so if I go up to the sheet, highlight it, and it doesn't show up here, so we're gonna choose more tables, and we're gonna choose earn value from the more tables box and apply that. And so now we can see all of the various uh, fields that are necessary for calculating earned value are available to us. And as we start to track our project and put in our actual costs and our, our actual starts and actual finishes, all of these uh, fields are going to start to fill themselves out. We're going to be able to create our uh, 
var or look at our variance from our cost baseline as well as our schedule baseline and be able to report that in terms of earned value. Mm -hmm. So really important to set that baseline. It's going to empower us to do a lot of things as we start to monitor and control our project uh, through the execution phase. Uh, there's not a lot to getting it actually done, but it's worth taking the time to uh, understand what it's going to do for us as we move forward. So from here, we're going to go on to tracking and controlling. We're going to be able to look at, uh, you know, updating our project uh, at different times for delays and costs. And then we'll be able to see the real value of having set this baseline and transition to the next phase of our project. So hopefully you'll join us for the next one. I'll put a link up here to it and uh, we'll see you then.